Today we got an exciting one, my favorite, how to jump on a wing foil. We're gonna break it down right here today. Get ready, let's go. Thank you friends, family, everybody out there. We love you guys, thank you for tuning back. Look, it's so good to see your face. I know we can't see your face, but thank you so much for tuning back. Thanks for leaving all your comments. We love you guys. Today's exciting. We're breaking down jumping. This is one of my favorite things. All I do is talk about backflips and I'm still struggling how to do backflips, but Kyle, Lenny, I need your help. <laughs> um, all you guys out there, I need your help with backflips. I can get around, I just haven't quite, it's scary. Okay, today we're gonna go over jumping. How to jump on your wing foil. So, first and foremost, you need foot straps. You don't need them. If you're super skilled, you can hold the board against it, but look, foot straps are gonna help you on this one. Let's break it down as simple as possible. So, I'm an avid wing foiler. I can go back and forth. I have foot straps. You can ride toe side to heel side. Look, you're ready to jump. Let's give it a shot. Okay, let's break it down. Go to the beach. Same thing I go over a lot of times. Go to the beach, fly the wing on the beach. What you're looking to do is look in how to create lift, how to create power, because that's gonna give you the ability to jump on the water. So. If I go to the beach and I wanna play with jumping, what I'm looking to try to do is I'm trying to get my edge going. So let's just say I'm riding along heel side, I'm trying to get my edge going. I'm gonna get my speed up because speed's gonna give me momentum to be able to then crank a little bit into the wind. When I crank into the wind, I steer my foil just a little bit back. I pull in for more power on that wing. That'll create lift. And then as my foil is disengaging out of the water, that is gonna create a jump. So that's in theory how you're gonna jump. Now. We want to start baby steps. So we just want to do tiny little jumps. So when you leave the water, you just want to, you be riding along your nice little tack and I'm going to just right at the end, I'm going to get that speed up real good and I'm going to steer into the wind. And I'm going to, as I steer in the wind, I'm going to bring that kite up and I'm just going to pull a little bit more in here. As that foil releases the water, I suck my legs up. And what I'm looking to do is I'm trying to kind of look for the back wing to kind of everything to come in cocoon and I'm really pulling in on that wing to have a nice kind of like if I was jumping with a, a bird or a parachute I'm going to jump and right before I land I'm going to go and I'm going to catch myself so I'm trying to do the same thing with the wing I'm going to jump and I'm trying to catch myself and try to take all that pressure of the wind and slow myself down to land and in theory that's what you're looking to do you want to start with baby jumps so just barely come out of the water but remember it's you can be riding along and just lean back and hop but try to edge a little bit into the wind which gives you more tension into the wind gives you more lift because your wings going into the wind gives you a little bit more lift also will give you more control to land now saying this we're flying very small wings seven meters and down there those are big wings in wing surfing but there's not a lot there. So your, your lift is not a lot. So it's very technical and you really gotta get on that backhand to get a lot of pressure to land nice and smooth. But I would say just start small and build your way up. And as you build up, you can get those jumps going bigger and bigger to the point where you can maybe try, I don't know what it's called, maybe they call it a Rayleigh. I, in kite surfing it's called a Rayleigh, but you jump and you actually let that foil go out behind you and it kind of goes like this and you bring your feet back. Now, the first one I ever tried, I like down the wing and pile drove it into the ground because I threw my legs back so hard my wing came in and like hit the front of the wing. It was a disaster. So keep that wing for stability. But all I would do to do the Rayleigh jump is to release that foil more out to the side and your legs will kind of go out from underneath you. Now, very important that you keep that wing directly into the wind where there's lift and stability because my first time I went I went like this and I almost backwinded and went whoa I and mean, I just pile drove it into the ground so that was my first time I didn't grow up windsurfing so it was kind of a learning process by trial and error and I would say error so now make sure to keep that wing nice and lifty and lofty but your legs will go behind and they'll just come right back underneath you it's more of a um, instinct for anybody truthfully your legs will go back and they'll just all of a sudden come underneath now don't be afraid if you throw your legs back and you see the water's coming up quick just slip your feet out of those foot traps laying in the water to keep it safe start again don't be afraid to baby steps take this slow nice and slow um, i recommend um, if you downsize your wing you'll have a little bit more speed going into the jump which is going to give you a little bit more lift 
Um, the reason why is you're gonna have a little more speed so you can edge into the wind, kind of have more speed to jump. A really big, slow, lifty wing, it's, it's, it'll jump for sure. It's just gonna be a little bit slower speed, so it's gonna be a little bit harder to go higher. Um, in a nutshell, that is how to jump your wing foil. Now, truthfully, like I said again, I'm gonna hammer it one more time. Go to the beach, fly that wing, play with it. And even better, bring your family down, bring your kids down, have them jump. They're gonna love this and you can share this with them and they may never even wing foil, but you can share how to jump on the beach and learn this little process. And you can work on how to land softer. And this will translate into the water and help better your jumping so that when I show up at the beach and I see you out there and you boost this backflip that I've been looking to learn and you're doing it before I am, we'll bring you on camera and we'll break it down the backflip because dang do I want a backflip. Um, Gwen's already doing them. It's, it's, you know, it's a little depressing, but uh, it's okay. You know, it is what it is. Um, that's it. That's breaking down a jump. We love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, liking and subscribing and sharing this message. We love your comments, everybody. Look, you're helping other people. There's so many people on this channel that are being helped living a better life because of your comments. So thank you guys so much. Thanks for helping. Thank you everybody out there and look, Get ready next week. We got some exciting stuff coming. So until then, we love you guys. Thank you so much. Like and subscribe. Click the bell. Let's go wing foiling.